Hello and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Over the next few days, as the nation celebrates women empowerment through the Shera, as a whole subcontinent of Indians pray to women empowerment and the goddess, at our place we have what is called the Bomalakolu or the Bomakolu. It is our South Indian or typically a Tamilian fashion of uh, saying thanks to goddess. We will have a peep at it over the next few days in parts and in parcels. Is dedicated to Shaila Putri Parvati. Shaila Putri, as the name suggests, the daughter of the mountain. She was born in the house of the king of the mountains, Parvataraj. Putri means daughter, Shaila means the mountain. Variously known as Sati Bhavani, Parvati, Hemavati. Hemavati, obviously, because she is the daughter of Himavat the king of the Himalayas. She rides a bull, carries a trident and a lotus in her two hands. In her earlier birth, she was the daughter of Daksha. Once Daksha organizes a yajna and refuses to invite Shiva, but Sati obstinate reaches there only to find her husband insulted. Sati, unable to tolerate burns herself in the fire of the yajna. In another birth, she comes as the daughter of the Himalayas in the name of Parvati, Hemavati, and now again marries Shiva. As all uh, pujas among Hindus starts with a veneration to Lord Ganesha, here is a small sample of the Ganeshas we have at the Dashira at our place. You notice Ganesha in various forms. He is an artist's delight. Structurally, a lot of liberties are taken with the making of Lord Ganesha in various forms. And uh, imagination goes real wild in making various forms of Ganesha. At the Madhubani painting, your picture camera shows it in parts, but each part of it will tell you parts of the Ramayana. There is the Ashokavana. You can see uh, the earlier picture showed uh, Supranaka being handled by Lakshmana and Rama. You have the Rama Sita marriage various aspects, important parts of the Ramayana, including the Agni Pariksha, the Maricha, Dia, Golden Dia, are all picturized in this wonderful painting. Now that's a nice collection I've started in recent times, inspired by a friend of mine who has an amazing collection of uh, Ganesha's, uh, Kalpana Ramesh. It's from her that I've said, okay, I too must collect a few elephants. Here are of some of them that I have collected just over the last couple of years. The next segment that you would watch are a variety of vegetables and fruits. Interestingly, many of these vegetables and fruits, which you can see in dull paint and color, has been with a family for definitely over 70 to 80 years. They are old toys, which we ensure is used year after year after year. They have been in hibernation for some years when we did not celebrate the Shera, but ever since the Navaratri Kolu has come back into our lives, it has been on display. 